Hey Dev, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to learn how to set XHR breakpoints in the Firefox DevTools. For this video, I'll be using Firefox version 78. Let's jump in. Here I have a simple app where I can make different network requests to an endpoint. If you want to follow along, I'll leave a link to it in the description. XHR, or XML HTTP requests, are network requests from the client to an API. XHRs let your application communicate with other programs. When debugging requests, it's nice to be able to set XHR breakpoints to see when your code makes a request and what happens next. To set an XHR breakpoint, you need to open the DevTools. So use the keyboard shortcut Control-Shift-I or Command-Option-I, then head over to the Debugger tab. All breakpoints are listed in the Debugger pane, so let's open XHR breakpoints. Here we can set a breakpoint on any URL. That seems a good place to start, so let's click that. Now when we go back to our app and make a network request, we hit a breakpoint. Notice how the source pane opens to the HTML and not our JavaScript. If we look here in the call stack, we can see that the debugger is breaking on fetch, which exists on the window object. We need to go down a step on the stack and see this handle click in request.js. If we click on that, the source pane jumps to that line and we can see that the debugger has paused here. From this point, I can step through my code using the debugger toolbar. Step over, step over, step over. Once I'm done, I can hit play here or back in the window. Breaking on all URLs is nice at times, but it will get noisy if your app is making a lot of requests. Let's remove that breakpoint by unchecking this box. To set a more specific breakpoint, you can click on this plus icon or the break when URL contains text area. This gives us the option to set a path and a method to break on. So let's say that I want to break on all put requests. I'll select the put option, and I can enter a forward slash that will match all requests. When I hit enter, I can see that a new breakpoint has been set on puts with a slash. Now when I go back to my app, I don't hit a breakpoint until both conditions are met. Let's play to continue. I can disable that breakpoint by unchecking this box or remove it entirely by clicking the X. If you want to break on a specific URL or even a fragment of a URL, you can select any from the menu and put that path. Let's put ET because that will match two of my URLs. To set the breakpoint, hit enter or return. Just like before, the breakpoint will only hit when both conditions match. So we break on get and delete, because both of them had ET in the URL. Finally, I'll remove that breakpoint by clicking X. In this video, we learned how to set and remove XHR breakpoints in the Firefox DevTools. We learned to break on all requests or break based on a method and or URL matching. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.